All right, YouTube. All, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Slab Hunter Show. So I decided to go out and fish after work today. And I decided to go and fish this pond that I've been fishing for years, right? And I, and I know crappies are in there. So this pond is a small, small pond. I mean, it's very small. Uh, it's probably smaller than a football field. And the deepest part of it is probably six to eight feet. But I know crappies are in there because the Trinity River, this little, this little creek area is right behind it. And when it floods, it connects to those ponds. Drop fish in there. When it goes down, they're stuck in there. So I've been fishing these ponds for about 10 years. So I actually have been thinking about passing this on to you guys as a spot to fish last year. But what I want to say is I'm going to give this spot out. Now, it's going to be up to you guys, right? This spot is in the heart of Los Colinas. Um, it's public. They'll let you fish. It's next to a dog park. People are going to be running. They're going to be walking their dogs. Apartments everywhere. It's a lot of lot of action over there. So it's going to be up to you guys. I don't fish it much. Only during the spring and they bite also in the fall time. Just giving y'all tips. It's going to be up to you guys if y'all want to have this spot to fish every spring and every fall. And what I'm saying is I'm going to give this spot out. Just make sure. I'm telling you guys, make sure whatever you take out there, you bring back. It's right next to a dog park. And it's right next to some high risers and lost cleanest while work. So if you leave stuff out there, there's going to be no fishing sign, I guarantee. So they don't bother me. I've been fishing for years. I've been seeing other people that live over there, fish over there. Um, and the only thing you got to do is just go out there, enjoy yourself, take everything back. And you got to spot the fish. And I promise you, it's some nice crappies. And I've been catching them for years. So I'm gonna, I am decided that this is going to be my first spot. I told you guys three spots. So this is the first one. So what we're going to do now is I was out there for about three hours. So the fish are not just spawning, spawning yet. But they're getting ready. But they're not. So it took me three hours to catch six crappies. But they're decent crappies. So I'm going to show you the fish. We're going to measure them so you can see the size that I'm talking about. And when you go and see this pond... You're going to trip out that these fish are in that pond. And then I'm going to weigh them, and then we'll get the video going. So let's get going here. Hold on. All right, guys. So let's get going here. So I went out today. I got my scale. Okay. Got my scale. Got the measure. So I caught six fish, right? And there are some good fish, man. There are some decent, decent crappies for a very, very, I'm talking about, this one of them ponds that you would see in the country in somebody's backyard. Very small pond. Very, very small pond. So this is 10. This this uh this is zero, right? So you see that? That's zero. And that's eleven. So a little bit past eleven. That's a male, right? So that's one. Uh, let's put them in here. Oh, my, my wife might kill me. Okay, hold on. Give me one second, you guys. Let me get this together here. I gotta make sure the wife don't hurt me. Putting anything in her. In her pants. That's a nice pan right there, too. You might see this online. We got a problem. So, what I'm going to do... I clean my fish right here in the sink, guys. And when I get through, I sanitize it, Clorox, and I'm done. All right. So, level and a half. That's one. Big, 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 big female here. Probably about 12, 11, 12. So. There we go to zero. They fat like a, they, they, they fat, man. Um. Uh, it's 11. Come on, calm down. Calm your butt down. Okay. So, 11 and a half. 11 and three, three quarters. Big old thick male. A thick female. All right. Let's get this one. I think that's the only female. I call it the rest of them with males. There you go. Zero. 
11. Right on the 12 inches here. Right on the 12. There you go. Trying to hurry up so you guys can well, hang around and watch the video. Zero. That's 11. This is 12. Yeah, all about the same size. Uh, 11 and 3 fourth. So right at, right, almost 12. Right on the 12. They're pretty big, actually, for this little pond. I think that might be a big male. Or a female. That's a big, that's a big, that juggle got a bill. That might be a male. Zero. That's a fat fish. Eleven. So that's right at eleven. Right past eleven, right? If you can see it right here. Look how fat that fish is. Man, that jungle thick. Is that a that's a male? That is a thick male. My goodness. That jungle thick. Alright. One more. So one female and all males. Okay. So that's zero. Zero. They all thick. And ten. So that's eleven. Right here. That's eleven. So all of them eleven to right up under. Right at almost twelve. And there you go. So so now guys, I'm gonna show you where I was fishing at. How I was fishing, what depth. I'm gonna say where the location is at in the video. And you guys can go out there and starting now and all of April, I'm sure. And then it's probably gonna die down in May. But then you know, you probably won't catch much in May because it's, it's gonna be super hot that water. It's a small pond. And then um go back out in fall and do the same thing, fish real shallow and they'll bite. So let's get the video going in one, two, three. Oh yeah. Thank you guys always for watching. I always thank you. I appreciate everything about you. Helping my channel grow. Uh, supporting me. Viewing, likes, all that good stuff. So I just want to make sure I always tell you guys and ladies, thank y'all for watching. So let's get the video going. One, two, three. Well, I almost forgot. I didn't worry about winning the video. The intro was too long. So I'm not going to worry about winning the fish. They all probably about a pound or something. But let's get it going. <laughs> Alright YouTube ladies and gentlemen, just got off work out here in Las Colinas, Texas. I decided to come out and fish a friendly neighborhood pond. A pond is no bigger than a football field. Might be smaller than a football field you guys. Seriously, this pond might be smaller than a football field and I'm gonna catch me some big crappies today. Get your popcorn, get your drinks, get ready. It's about to go down. Today, I got I call this one right here the Green Hornet. It's just a Zepco hot cast rod, six foot, medium action. SY3000, Quanta reel, high vis, number six, test line, Mr. Crappie high vis. This one here is the HK3000 Gold Sharkin. Same thing, high vis six pound test line, Durango Shakespeare rod, and uh, medium action. This one right here might be six foot six. This one is six foot six, that one is six foot. I haven't gave a name for this one yet. You guys let me know why its name is blue. I don't know, maybe uh, Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys.
we go, you guy. Big old crappie. Big old crappie. Right in front of that grab, right where I thought it'd be. There we go. So we hit that top lure. I'm taking some home too. Fish number, there you go. Nice uh, slab crappie there. So I'm gonna take that one home. I will measure it for you. But it's way over, it's way over. Uh, it's way, way over 10. You got easy, easy 12. So that's 11, right at 12, you guys. It can't even fit down in there, it's too big. Can't even get down in there. So, copy number one. Let's get back in there. I might've found them. I might've found them, you guys. Coming down this grass line here, this is where I got it at. Let's reset this jig here. So he hit the, uh, I'm gonna show you what he hit. He hit the blue grass. So he hit that blue grass, that top one. He didn't hit the, uh, the grub. And it's a grass line that's right here in front of me. I came right down it and he hit it like right when I got to, uh, got by me actually. So it might be a couple more down there. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I got in the grass then. Or oh, was that a fish? I'm not sure. Ain't no grass on my lure, but my bot, my uh, my bait is kind of pulled down. I think that was a fish, actually. I think that was a fish. Let it drop down a little bit and just bring it on back. Let's see if anything else will hit. So they might be on this short line. They might be. Let me cast down this one right here. They might not be uh they might be getting ready to spawn. Not getting ready to spawn, but just waiting. Let me come down this one right here. I was trying to get closer, but hey. That's where it lands, so we'll go with that. Need a bobber. I didn't bring my bobbers with me. So you need a bobber and just kind of drop right in front of this, right in front of this grass line here and see if anything will take it. Got one. Ooh, he let go. Ooh, jeezy, jeezy, jeezy. He let it go, you guys. I'll go back and get him. He didn't feel that. He for sure didn't feel that. Right in front of that grass where he supposed to be. That could have been a bass, too. It had to be no crappie. That did not have to be a crappie. They're real close. I might be gonna give me a bobber. Just working this shoreline. And don't be afraid to toss out neither though. You know. There we go, we got another one. Another crappie, good one too. Come on up. Oh, this is a good one right here. This is a big old male. Big old male. Big old male right here, you guy. Ooh, that's about a 12, that's a 12 inch right there. We'll weigh it. We'll weigh it for this little neighborhood pond here.
one pound you guys right at one pound right at one pound that's a good that's a good crappie there you go about 11 and a half inch male let's go i might have found i might have found me something right along this grass line here Got that grass then. Dang it. Got to. I did it, I didn't go down too far. I need a bobber. And it's at my truck. And I don't feel like walking over there. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna try this other one with the grub. Alright. Let me put this one up. Let me put this one up. Try to greenhorn it. So let me try to greenhorn it. We'll go with the grub and I'll switch over to that blue grass if I have to. See that fish jumped in front of me? That was a crappie. Hmm, look at that. Right at the right at the bank, you guys. I got them right at the bank. They on the bank. That's where they at. Nice crappie. I'm talking about a nice one. 12, probably about 10, 11, 11, 12. There you go. So you guys, I'm telling you, you trying to go to those ponds, those big old lakes. Look at that crappie. Look at that big old crappie. You trying to go to those big old lakes and stuff? Fish that big body of water? And, you, and you're a bank fisherman? You're wasting your time because you ain't gonna be able to catch them crappie unless you know exactly where you're going. So you have to go to a uh, small body of water. And um, that's this, this right here is over 12 inches right here, guys. This thing is 12 inches. This, and it barely, it can't even fit in there. Tail over it. So this is over 12. In a neighborhood pond. Look at those big old crappies. In a neighborhood little pond. So I'm telling you guys, your neighborhoods, you hit you 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 hit them little pond. This thing is no bigger than a football field, and they're in here, and the six foot deep probably. Right here, right here, right here in front of me. That thing here, right in front of me. They are not. They're on this edge. I'm talking about here, right in front of me. Boy, I need a bobber. I kill these joke with a bobber right now. But just walk and toss. Bring it back to you. Then you don't get a bite. You don't get a bite. Toss out a little further out a little bit. Let me get down. Yeah. Let it drop down. Bring it on back to you. Bring it back. I'm just gonna see if we can, you know, 
There's a couple of fish out here. Here we go, got another one, you guys. Got another one. Big old crappie. Big old male. Big old male, you guys. There we go, got another one. Another 12 incher. There you go, you see that big old fish? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Fish number four. Fish number four. Right along this shoreline, you guys. Right along this shoreline. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've probably been here about 30 minutes and I already got four fish. So if you can, if you'd like to uh, have a follow a friendly uh, fishing channel, love crappies, love bluegill, and I catch bass, hey, I would love to have you. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you part of the family. I'm enjoying myself. Just got off work. I'm going to be out here for a minute. We got these long days now. I get dark at eight something. So I'm going to enjoy myself. We're going to see if we can get some content today. So you guys, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Let's get back at it. All right, I might go to that other end. I'll go to this other side over here. See, go out just a little bit. See if they're out there. There we go, we got another one, you guys. Another male. Right in that corner right there, right where they're supposed to be at. Another big old male, you guys. Another big old male. There you go, 12 inches, all day long. Oh, I ain't gotta measure that. That's long with that thing. Ooh, look at them big old boys. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Right along this shoreline, right along this shoreline. All right guys, so I'm enjoying the day. Um, got a, I mean, I got here. I got four or five in there. One, two, three, four. We got five so far. So I got five so far. So I'm enjoying the day all up along the shoreline. So in some of those neighborhood ponds, this is what I would suggest. It'll be the tip of the day. The neighborhood ponds probably warming up faster than a big body of water. So they might already be spawning in there. So if I were you guys, like get some bobbers. It ain't got to be the grub. You can catch if you want to. I'm catching them, but I'm not catching them fast. But some bobbers, put it uh, that jig about a eight inches, maybe a foot, maybe eight inches up under that bobber, and just work the banks. Just work the banks, right? Drop and go, long pole, ten foot pole along with it. Drop the banks, and I think you'll catch some fish. So you gotta find some neighborhood ponds in your area and go and hit them up. And I don't care if they're the size of a football field, six foot deep. You go and fish them, and you'll be surprised. You'll catch these same crappies that I'm catching, twelve inch crappies. Let's get back at it. All right, so I think you got the creek that's back here. Oh yeah. Look at that right there. It might be some sand bass back here. Let me see. Cast out and see. You never know, or crappies. Let me see. Or a big old alligator. Let me see if, it, if anything kind of sitting out here. A lot of bait. God dang, I don't want that thing got hung up that quick. Boy, that, ain't that something? It ain't meant for me to be back here. I got hung up that quick. I'm talking about up in there too. Boy, ain't that something? Hey, how's it going? Huh? Yeah, I caught some little uh, crappie, some little bitty fish. Nice. That's pretty good. That's a pretty dog. That's a uh, that's a uh, 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 poodle. Uh, yeah, it's a the the, the, poodle the big. And the big one. Yeah, she's pretty. That's a big dog too, but she's pretty. I can tell you, they call them uh, 
What's the name of the poodle they call a uh, Golden Doodle? Yeah, go, yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, yep, she's nice. Yep. All right, you have a good one. Yep. All right, guys, so I walked three ponds. So I decided to come back where I started off at and where I was catching. So we're gonna see if we can get us a couple more. I'm still at five, so we'll see what happens. Y'all look like money, man. Oh, yeah. I think, I guess that's it. One, two, three. Got another one up close. Big old female. Big old female right up close. There we go. That's a nice one. That is a nice one, you guys. There you go. 12, 11, 12 inch female. That might be a big girl today. All right. That's, that's crappie number six. Probably a bass. That's a crappie. Big one too. Big old crappie, you guy. Hello, this is Ernest. There you go. Big old female. And this little old bitty pond, probably the side of a football field. There you go, you guys. 12 inch crappie. There you go. 12 inch female, you guys. Over a pound. Over a pound in this little old bitty pond. I'm talking about about the half, maybe a football field, maybe. There we go. Get back in there, girl. Real, real slow, you guys. Real slow. That was a big crappie, actually. That was a pretty nice crappie. They're, they're not up close yet. I ain't getting no bites right around here. Not even no male bites, actually. I haven't even, I haven't even been catching many males up close yet. They let me know that the spawn is not really starting off yet now you can go to them creeks like they like they do it on youtube and find them in them creeks and stuff but or some lakes but not many we're still waiting still waiting for sure there we go got one what we got here Another little bitty crappie. Well, it's a little, it might be a keeper. I caught that one up close. That's a female too. Right up close. I caught that one right in front of me. They might be there. They might be there. 